drink what's left. Chug a lug, we helped ourselves. First time for everything. Oh, my ears still ring. Chug a lug, chug a lug. Makes you want to holler, hide and hold. Burn your tummy, don't you know. Chug a lug, chug a lug. Of course, we're talking about Paul Henry Art Gallery and we're t and Patrick's videos the Thursday night uh, semi live after the fact and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a Roger Miller song tonight and he was a, a very for a brief time before the one thing that he couldn't give up in his life the, the the smoking finally killed him at 56 and he was a writer a singer guitar player fiddler drummer a TV star and a comic and and many other things. Chug a Lug, I think, was was a was a, um, a writing about his early childhood, is because he started drinking early, and and um, and and he wasn't the the clean cut character they portrayed him to be on TV, and I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't let him say "damn me" when he had his TV show and when he was recording the song, so. So uh, sometime around, uh, along between his first, second, and third marriage, uh, he kind of got fed up with himself and dang me. Uh, here I sit high, getting ideas. Nobody but a fool would live like this. Out all night, just running wild. A woman sitting home with a month old child. I said, dang me. They ought to take a rope and hang High from the highest tree woo, woo, woo. Woman, would you wait for me? When he had a lot of silly silly things like that in a lot of his songs And, and most of his songs were comedies um, And and he, he, he finally um he finally married his third wife and, and she got him to go into rehab and he straightened his life out. And like I said, he couldn't give up the one thing that, that uh, finally did him in at a very young age. And I think he was envious, even though he had all the fame and money, he was envious of people who could manage their lives and live them the way they wanted to. And I kind of, I kind of can relate to that, I guess, a little bit. Um, I, always, I always felt that way a little. And uh, I wonder why they didn't do like I did. And, uh, well, I hear it tell you're doing well. Good things have come to you. I wish I had your happiness and you had to do like I do, like I do, like I do, like I do. His last song that went into the, to the top ten was number five, before he died, was um, was um, it was it was written to be a serious song, quite unlike his normal style, and um, he he sang it as a waltz, and I, I just couldn't make it work for me. A lot of people have tried that song, and I just couldn't get it to work, and and I was working on it. And Leia says, uh, "Doug, take the waltz out of it." Take the waltz out of it and and um, put put in the theatrical drama that's supposed to be there because that's what you have between husbands and wives. Two broken hearts, lonely, looking like houses where nobody lives. of two lives It's my belief the ride is a cheap cause in the decline the numbers of husbands and wives A woman and a man A man and a woman Some can 
Some can't and some can't. Oh. 